There's still a long way to go to clean up Joplin. This week, two high school rivals came together to help the city and its citizens pick up the pieces. Christina Medina shows us how from Joplin. We're knocking down this house and salvaging as much bricks as we can. It's a job these 40 athletes didn't exactly train for. We're having fun destroying things, but... Yeah, we're just doing what we can. And the family who owns the house is certainly excited to have their help. They were next door when the Joplin tornado destroyed their entire neighborhood. Got three boys, and yeah, it was. They were hysterical. It was. I was hysterical. Amy says she's sick of looking at the piles of debris. I know it'll never be exactly like it was before, but it's got to get better than this. So when a football and basketball team from Shawnee Heights in Topeka offered to help, the family said yes. Normally these students would be in the middle of their summer training, lifting weights and running, but their coaches found a new way and a new reason to exercise. It's a lot of arm workout, carrying bricks around. It's definitely a good workout. For this team who usually deals with Joplin in a sports rivalry, today they called a truce. You can talk trash all you want on the court and field, but when it comes to stuff like this, there's no rivalries. My grandpa told me you never feel bad for doing the right thing. You know, it's just, it feels good to help them out. With a little teamwork, the walls finally came down. Getting this family one step closer to building back what the tornado destroyed. In Joplin, Christina Medina, NBC Action News. Oh, wow. really Just nice. amazing. Yeah. We all know what rivalries are like, and that's really nice to see them put that all aside. Yeah, yeah. good job. Good and job. then you see them take down the walls and how a tornado can do it in one half of it's a second. It's amazing, so. yeah.